skill of the day. Today's skill of the day, what we're going to talk about is a couple of positions that we need to achieve in our double unders. So the biggest or the most common faults that we see. All right, the first common fault that we see is either we draw the arms out away from the body. See how now I would have to jump this high in order to get over the rope. Or we move our hands from here. See how now it will pass under my feet quite easy? To here. See how now it's going to hit into my ankles. All right, so let's first talk about the moving of the arms out. I want you to focus on elbows are almost touching. So if you just sit there, relax with nothing in your hand, you just sit there, relax, so you can just see your hands in your peripheral vision. So if they come back here, you can't see them. So we need to have our hands just in our peripheral vision and in the most relaxed position you can be here, elbows in really close to the hips. And pretty much this all stays in the same position. It's just the wrists that do the moving. So let's look what happens if I move my hands from front of the hip to rear of the hip all the time. Let's look how long it would take me to do two rotations of the rope. See how long that took compared to this? So that means that you need to be in the air for a lot longer and you need to jump a lot higher. So to get them, it's going to be extremely inefficient and also it's going to be really difficult to get them. So I want you to practice now just in a single skip, just keeping your elbows next to your hips and your wrists in the one position out in front of the body. So let's just look at the wrist position. Nothing moves except for just the wrist doing circles. Have a practice of that. Make sure that those wrists are there when you're doing your single skips. Then move on and practice it with your double unders. The next one is moving out. So as we start to get tired, we kind of try and use more shoulder and the elbows come away from the body. And sometimes we see the rope all the way here. So in order to do a double under from this position, I need to jump this high. Whereas I should only need to jump this high. All right, so not only do we want to keep the elbows in and the wrists out in front of the body, but we need to keep the elbows in and not allow them to come away from the body. So wrists stay out in front and really close into the body here. So let's now have a look at it in a double under. Elbows close to the hips, they don't move out. Wrists out in front of the body and it's just the wrists that turn the rope. So as we go, as we go, wrists out in front of the body and that's where they remain the entire time. And notice the jump only needs to be this big when we keep our arms in that efficient position. The last thing is let's have a look at body position. So we want to be really tall up and down and we just want to be in this position here. This is nice and efficient. I could do this all day. As soon as I start to do this or this, life gets really, really, really hard really quickly. Heart rate escalates. Obviously, it's very difficult to stay uniform when you're lifting the knees up or bringing the heels up. So we want to always stay in this nice tall position. So they're the three things I want you to have a practice of now. Just in your single skip, elbows in close to the hips, wrists stay out in front of the body, and our body just stays up nice and tall. Then I just want you to start jumping a bit higher. So there's our double under jump. And that's what we're gonna practice. Just practice getting good in that position, being efficient, keeping those body parts in that position, then you're ready to practice them with double unders. Have fun.